You think you know the Jason Bourne series? Well, here's 15 things you may not have known about the CIA assassin with a case of the Who Am I's. Stehen Sie jetzt da auf. Ich muss schlafen. Los, hoch. Hey, aufstehen, hoch. The Bourne films are based on a series of novels by Robert Ludlum. Despite this, the first film departs from the content of the novel it is based on. The entirety of the plot of the novel takes place in the first five minutes of the film, and the rest was fabricated for the screen. Matt Damon was only offered the role of Jason Bourne after Brad Pitt, Russell Crowe, Matthew McConaughey, and Sylvester Stallone had been considered. However, Damon is not the first to play Bourne. In a 1988 adaptation of The Bourne Identity, Richard Chamberlain assumed the role of Bourne. Doug Lehman, director of Identity, was a longtime fan of Ludlum's novels, having read them in high school. When Warner Brothers' rights to the books lapsed in the 1990s, Lehman snapped up the opportunity and flew himself directly to Ludlow's home in Montana with his new pilot's license. Apparently, Ludlum was so impressed with Lehman's dedication that he sold the rights then and there. Talking? I thought maybe we could help each other. How's that? You need money. I need a ride. Out of here. I'm not running a car service just now, thank you. I'll give you $10,000 to drive me to Paris. Unfortunately, Ludlum never got to see the big screen adaptation of his novels. He died while The Born Identity was in post-production on March 12, 2001, a full year before the film saw its release in theaters. Tony Gilroy's original script for the film involved more choreographed stunts and effects than Universal believed Lehman was capable of shooting in a timely manner. In the end, the last half hour of the film had to be shot in only 10 days in over two countries. Similarly, the ending of The Born Supremacy had to be reshot, costing the production $200,000 just two weeks before its release in the theaters. I can tell you the license plate numbers of all six cars outside. I can tell you that our waitress is left-handed and the guy sitting up at the counter weighs 215 pounds and knows how to handle himself. I know the best place to look for a gun is the cab of the gray truck outside. And at this altitude, I can run flat out for a half mile before my hands start shaking. Now why would I know that? During the entirety of Supremacy, Bourne never smiles. Maybe Jason Bourne was just a little sick of all the changes from the novels. The editing of The Bourne Supremacy is rigorous and relentless. No shot lasts for very long, each one averaging about two seconds in length. Matt Damon is known for the extreme training he endured to portray Jason Bourne. However, despite the great lengths he went to for accuracy during rehearsals, mistakes still do happen. In Supremacy, Damon accidentally deviated actor Tim Griffin's septum. The area in which the scene was filmed was slightly smaller than the space they spent three days rehearsing. All of the items Bourne uses in Supremacy can be purchased by everyday people. Damon struggled to learn his German and Russian lines for the film, so he just mouthed his lines during shooting and re-recorded them in post-production with a dialogue coach. In the spirit of reshooting and re-recording that seems to go hand in hand with the Bourne films, the footage from Supremacy in which Landy speaks to Bourne was not used for the Bourne ultimatum. Instead, it was reshot. David Webb. That's your real name. You were born 4-15-71 in Nixon, Missouri. Why don't you come in and we'll talk about it? Born? Get some rest, Pam. You look tired. The chase scene in Tangiers could not be filmed with extras as the flow of pedestrians could not be controlled. All of the people in the scene, with the exception of the main characters, are very real people going about their lives. The Bourne Legacy is based on a novel of the same name, however, it is the first Bourne movie not to be based on a work by Ludlum. Instead, all Bourne books written since Ludlum's death have been penned by Eric von Lustbader. He has been especially prolific, writing nine more entries for the series. Where are you now? I'm sitting in my office. I doubt that. And why would you doubt that? If you were in your office right now, we'd be having this conversation face to face. And here's a bonus one. Matt Damon chose not to return for the fourth film, Legacy. In the film, Aaron Cross, portrayed by Jeremy Renner, travels nonstop from New York to Manila aboard an American Airlines 747. This is problematic, as American Airlines does not run flights from the United States to the Philippines, nor do they employ 747s. Despite these errors, American Airlines was involved in the filming of the plane interior scenes, offering their own airline employees and a Boeing 777-200. 
That's it for this episode of You Think You Know Movies. Make sure to subscribe, like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and get the latest movie and TV news on ScreenCrush.com.